Alright, so at this point we're going to be downloading the CASA app. So on your phone, just go ahead and go into your app store. And then from there, just go into search. Once you're in search, just type in CASA. So here it is, CASA Smart. Scroll down. So this is the one that you guys want to get. Press on get. It should be free. And then, again, it's a pretty small app. It doesn't take up too much space. You guys can actually see exactly how much space it gets. So it's half a gig, less than half a gig. And then you guys can see what you're compatible with. So anything over iOS 11, you guys should be okay. So once you guys open this up for the very first time, you should see a bunch of notifications. Go ahead and allow everything. Go into settings and allow. So just make sure right here it says allow. Then you guys can tap, go back to the app and tap on I've already given local permission. So that's the first thing. And if you guys don't have an account, this is the time to make one. So we're gonna create an account right now. Tap the very first thing there and go ahead and put in your email. Then it's gonna ask you for a password and confirm your password. Press on I accept a subscribe. Well, you don't have to subscribe, but you have to accept the terms and conditions. Then tap on create account all the way in the bottom. Make sure these passwords are not the exact same thing as your password for your email. Make sure you create one. That's for this specific app. Then only then create your account. All right, then it's gonna say that it sent you an email. So you need to confirm that email. So go into your email. Then I'm gonna show you how that looks like right now. So the email you should have got should have been something like this. Just tap on click to finish registration. From there, you guys should see something like this. It says congratulations. Just go back to your app at this point because right now you're in a web browser. And on your app, you're gonna see this down here below. It says, I'm already verified, tap there. And you have to do this, just allow your location. It's gonna work better if you do that. Then it's gonna ask you to log in. Once you log in, you're gonna see this. You have to accept, confirm, and then just press on done. From here, you can just start. So press on start now. And there we go. For now, just tap on the X. Then you guys can just go on and add your device. And by the way, you guys can do this from a phone or tablet. It doesn't really matter. All right, so once you turn on your power, you're supposed to see these lights. See that light? That's perfect. So at this point in time, what you guys have to do is set this up. So right here on this particular switch, we have reset buttons on the top. And if you hold down to the reset button for five seconds, it's to reset the Wi-Fi. But keep in mind, you're just resetting. So you're keeping other settings. Now, if you guys want to restart, you can just press your restart button, which is right there. Now in this case, I set this up kind of the other way. So this is upside down, but that's because of the wiring inside. It doesn't matter. So we have a restart and a reset. Not everybody's gonna have these two, so no big deal. And to restore this back to factory settings, you guys have to hold on to that reset button for 10 seconds. That's gonna bring it back. So that means maybe you're changing Wi-Fi or something like that, or maybe you bought a house and it has this already installed, then you would have to do that yourselves. So in this guy, what the lights mean, so a solid amber would mean starting up, a blinking amber in green would mean ready for setup, resetting Wi-Fi, a blinking green would mean connecting to Wi-Fi. If it stays on green for 30 seconds, it's connected to Wi-Fi. A solid red would mean disconnected from Wi-Fi, blinking amber, device resetting, and white light just means the light is off. So those are basic things that you guys should know. So right now you guys can see that light, that circle, that's the light we're talking about. And at this point in time, it's ready for setup. So I'm gonna show you this on a tablet so you guys can see this in bigger. But uh, it's gonna be the exact same thing on your phone. So you guys are gonna see this, add device. Now that you're ready, go ahead, add device. Make sure to go into your settings and give it permission if it doesn't have it. So that means this, local network, it should have permissions. So if you have that already, just making sure, tap up here, ready to give it permissions, and then choose whichever comes to you. So this is a smart switch. So we're gonna choose exactly that smart switch. Then we have to enable this, so we're just gonna go into OK. Precise location, it's fine. Then we're just gonna press Smart Switch and then choose which one is uh, actually ours. So just make sure to choose the one that matches with yours. So if it's a uh, dimmer, WA dimmer, or all these other ones, you guys have like motion activated dimmer and all that stuff. 
Um, in this case, it's a really simple one. So it's just a smart switch. So we're gonna go one, smart switch. So it's not a three-way. And we're gonna set up our Wi-Fi, Bluetooth setup and all that stuff. So let's just start off with our Wi-Fi. So right now it's gonna tell you, is it all installed? Yes, of course it is. So we're gonna, yes. Right now it's gonna ask us to check. So it's checking for Wi-Fi, look at the front of your smart switch and the LED blinking orange and green. So we can see that it's blinking. And that means you can go on and just put orange and green because that's what it's supposed to be. From there, you have to connect to that TP link, okay? So we're gonna go into our settings. We're gonna go look for that Wi-Fi. So here it is, see this switch? That's it. Yours could be something else. Could be 1B57888 or anything else. As long as it says something like that, that's what you guys can do. So you're actually connecting to the Wi-Fi that that's giving you in order to set it up. Then close this. Go back into your app. In your app, you should see something like so. It's connecting right now. So keep it close. Now you have to choose your network. So in our case, we're going to go on and choose, let me see, a stable one would be this one technically. And then we're going to go on and set up the password. So you're not setting up a password. You're just putting the password for your own Wi-Fi. So this can connect up to it and then put safe password. Once you put your password, it's just going to connect up. So here we go. Let's actually connect it up. But right now, the the app is going to remember that. And if you got the password wrong, it's going to tell you you got it wrong. But at this point in time, it's extremely easy. And it should be easy to set this up. Later on, you guys can mess around with a bunch of settings, which does include uh, setting up a timer and all that stuff. Schedule as well. You can name this device. So smart switch. I'm actually going to call it smart switch. That's fine. But this would be for my bedroom. Bedroom. And we'll put Christmas lights. That's because that's what it is for. So I can remember. You guys can name it whatever you like. Then going to next. Location. Again, I'm just going to put bedroom next. You guys can go on and choose what icon. So it's kind of nice. So you guys know what you're plugging in there. So from some of you might be one of these things here. And for me, it's just a switch. It's fine. It's actually for my Christmas lights. And right here, we're almost done. So just check firmware. That's for updates and stuff like that. Do not power it off. So just don't touch your smart switch. And then just put update now. And it's going to download. Just don't touch anything. Let it download. It's going to be a quick download. It's not a big deal to update these things. Right now it's installing. So again, it's very, very minimal updates that this will ever get. Most likely you're just going to run the one update and that's it. So right now, just tap on sounds good. All right. And at this point, you're going to see firmware update. You guys can set it up to whatever time it's best for you. For me, at this time is fine. So I'm going to leave it. For most people, it is fine. And there we go. There's my switch. So right now, you guys can turn it on, turn it off like that. So there we go. It's on, off. You guys should hear that. So you guys hear that in the background? And there we go. So I'm turning it off and on from here. You guys can also turn it off, on and on from here. So it still works as a normal switch. But obviously, you guys, most of you do this and bought one of these because you guys want to set up the schedule. So anything that you guys want to set up, just tap on it. And then you're going to see all the options down here below. So schedule, timer, and away, and then runtime. All right, so from your app, like I mentioned before, there's the schedule, and this is empty. This is something that for some reason on tablets you can't do. There's no plus sign on the top right hand side, but on your phone, it should, it should work just fine. So tap on that plus sign. You guys can schedule this to be on, for example. Uh, from sunrise to sunset, or you guys can just put a time. So for me, it's going to be PM and it's going to be around 5 PM. That's what I want it on down here below. You guys can put it for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and all that stuff. So I'm going to put it for every single day of the week. It's going to turn on at that time Then press safe on the top right hand side. So that's on at that time. Tap on plus. Now here says turn off for turning off. I want this to turn off around 2 a.m. So a.m. And I'm going to turn it off. 
to 30 a.m. So here we go. It's around 2.30 a.m. and I want it for every single day. So that's why I'm tapping down here below. And then I'm gonna press on save. So right here you guys can see when it turns on, when it turns off. You guys can turn off the schedule at any time, any point in time just by tapping here on the side so we can turn that off. So if you guys just want it off the whole time, for example, I would just turn off the schedule, not change it. And down here I can see that it's set up for one time, so that's my bad. I was supposed to tap on everything. There we go. I'm just going to fix that. So right now, everything's for the whole week. So it's going to turn off at 2.30 in the morning, turn on at 5 p.m. And that's my schedule for this smart switch. So that's for most of you. You guys can do a lot more stuff in here. But anyways, as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.